Hi, my name is Liska and today I'm going to show you how to use lookups in Smart IT. Lookups are very important and you will find them in each module. For instance, under invoices there's a lookup, under customers, suppliers and in each module you will find lookups. For our exercise I'm going to use the stock lookup. Right. On the top there is usually a menu bar with different buttons and you can click on any of them to perform certain tasks. Amongst others, there is a help button. If you click the help button, here it will open the help file specific to this form. The first action that you must learn is that you can click on any column heading to sort it in ascending or descending order. So you can click on any of the other headings. The following very handy feature is to search for specific data and for this we are going to use the blue filter bar. So if I want to search for something, say for instance batteries, here you can see batteries, AA batteries. So what I'm going to do you don't have to start from the beginning of the word, is to type any part of the word such as T-E-R. And here you can see that we found the batteries. Now, I can go ahead and type in AA, and now you can see that the batteries is displayed. It does not matter whether the AA is in front or behind batteries. Or any place in the word, you will still find the batteries. Now we can at any time go and click on a column and in this case I click on the available column. You can see that it is sorted in ascending order. You can even go further and ask it to show only items where the stock quantities are more than for example 300. I type in greater than 300 and here it shows me only the items where the quantity is more than 300. Then, if you want to clear the filter, you can use the backspace to delete it. The next very handy feature, while we are busy with the filters, is the context sensitive menu. If you right click on any of these column headings, you will see the context specific menu. And here you see show filter pane. Here you can see the filter. I can search for BOM for instance. What's very handy about this method is that it will search through all the columns and not just in one specific column. And here you can see we found the word BOM. To close this panel I right click on the column heading and select Find Hide Panel. And here we are back to the original form. In a future lesson I will also show you how to use the edit filter to design very powerful filters. You can also move your columns around just as you prefer. Each person will find that under certain conditions you will want columns in different positions. You will see that there are quite a lot of columns on the form. And so you, if you decide that a certain column is very important to you and you want it in front of you, you can at any time click and drag it to the position you want. Let's take the on order column and put it in front of the reserved column. The next very important tool is that you can resize your column width to suit you. Let's click here and draw it a little wider. You might have a problem, for instance, when you want to print a form and there are too many columns that won't fit on an A4 paper. You can at any time click on the column heading that you want to remove, select remove this column and continue to remove all the columns that you don't want to display.
Very important, the columns are not permanently removed. If I close this form now and open it again, then the form will be back in its original state. What's also very handy, you will see here, are your grid reports. If you want to permanently save this report for future use, you can click on new to save it so that you can use the report the next time. Then I'm going to show you the last function that's also very handy on this form. You see here it says right click on row for more options. Just as you could right click on the columns to get context sensitive help, so you can click on each item. So let's assume you want to do something with the BOM item. Then you can right click and here you can see it says create new item based on this item. So if you want to create a new item or if you want to open the stock form, I can just click on the form and it will open. Like this. So everywhere in the program you will find a context sensitive menu by right clicking with your mouse. This is in short what you can do on a lookup form. This is all for now. Please also have a look at the next lesson, how to use the grid reports.